क्लिक ऑन द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड प्रेस ऑन द बेल आइकन टू वॉच माई ऑल न्यू वीडियो टू दिस टॉट रूल यस दिस इज अबाउट मेयर इक्वेशन सो इन दिस टॉट रूल वट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट डेरिवेशन हाउ टू गेट सीपी माइनस सीवी इज इक्वल टू आर आई मीन हाउ यू कैन एबल टू फाइंड आउट दिस इक्वेशन सो फॉर दिस वी हैव टू गो टू फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ thermodynamics what is the definition of first law of thermodynamics well i am not going to tell you even i am not asking you i know you know about it because it's been a long time i have created lot of videos related to thermodynamics but because of my one of my uh, viewers wanted to know the derivation of cp minus cv is equal to r how we can get this that's why i am creating this video to or well all right so what is the first law of mathematically how we can write mathematically how can write first law of thermodynamics that is dq equal to du plus p dv all right now if i am considering here that pressure pressure is constant in short what we can write p is equal to c we can write this right pressure is constant therefore again we know that we can we know that again one thing that is q is equal to dq is equal to m cp delta t if pressure is constant cp delta t now again du is equal to m we know that m cv delta t we know that because of its internal energy now from here what we can say dpv and pv is equal to what mr delta mrt and because of this what we can write pv is equal to mr delta t because this is a derivative is there now okay so what we can write this is like this now what we have to do we have to just put these three values here in this equation so mcp delta t is equal to m c v delta t okay internal energy because of internal energy we have to write c v delta t and plus m r delta t so m m get cancelled m get cancelled t delta t delta t get cancelled so what remaining we have c p is equal to c v plus r now what we can say you can transfer this c v to this side so what we got c p minus c v is equal to r so this is the this is also known as mayer's equation because of what you have been watching this video so hardly to understand this topic i mean to do derivation of this it will take only few a uh, few minutes 2 to 3 minutes okay but one thing is most important i would like to share with you that is that is for air if i am talking about air for air what what are values of cp and cv because if you are preparing for any competition examination then you should know what are values of cp and and cv for air and what is the value of cp for water you need to know that's why i am sharing with you here so what is cp basically for air for air cp is 1.005 kilojoule per kg kelvin if i am talking about cv for air is 0.718 kilojoule per kg kelvin so these two values are for air only remember that my dear without it you cannot do any I mean, you cannot go further i mean you cannot solve a numerical problems even i have seen in few numerical problems they have given this data in the numerical question I mean, question only but in few numerical problems they do not give for that case you need to remember these are very basic if you are preparing thermodynamics for competition examination then you need to know all these values right now for water for water what is the value of cv for water cv is equal to uh, sorry cp is equal to 4.187 kilojoule per kg kelvin okay so remember this so this is all about mayer's equation and important things you need to know about it so what is r basically can you say what is r yeah r is universal gas constant that is r is depend on you know the gas if i am taking air and yeah 
one thing is here for air for air what is the ratio of cp by cv cp by cv is equal to gamma it is known as specific heat ratio well even in uh, adiabatic process we use this uh, pv gamma is equal to constant right gamma is poly uh, adiabatic index we said that and here we said this gamma is uh, a specific heat ratio now cp by cv is equal to 1.4 for air let me share with you the proof of it so what i have shared with you basically cp is equal to 1.05 and cv is equal to point Seven one eight. So what we got? One point three double. Uh, one point three nine nine nine. That's why we consider as one point four. That is specific heat ratio for air is one point four. So in this uh, total, what you have learned, you have learned lot of things. Now what you have to do, you have to summarize. What you have to do, you have to write it down on your notebook because watching these videos only can help you to understand if you wanted to remember if you wanted to recall you can you you, you can watch my videos again and again but most important thing i can share with you i will definitely recommend you for that what is that just do one thing just do one thing what is that pause my video and keep writing as i am sharing with you steps this is the best step to learn anything from any video to order wells okay at least educational video all right so thanks for watching thank you very much and if you are getting help from my tutorials don't forget to share with your friends and of course one thing you need to do that is subscribe my channel right now thanks for watching thank you very much bye bye hope to see you again in my next video tutorial